Hello, welcome back. It's another video and this one we are going back to electroforming. I am going to let you in on a little secret. I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY conductive paint for electroforming. In my comments I've been asked numerous times what brand of graphite paint I use or where I buy it from and I can't answer that question because I don't buy it from anywhere. I make my own. My paint is in this little jar and I make little batches at a time. My paint is just a very 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 simple two ingredient recipe that has worked for me for years now and that is simply graphite powder got this from the chemicalstore.com and matte mod podge and you have to use matte you cannot use shiny mod podge it will not work for some reason why i don't know but stick to the matte mod podge and it's a very very simple recipe it's just going to be a one-to-one -one mixture and all you do is mix it together until it's a nice smooth consistency. Now, once you have that paint, when you go to actually paint your pieces, if the consistency is a little too thick, just use some distilled water to distill it back down and that will make it more paint-like. If you want something thicker because you want to give it a texture or something of that sort, leave it in that thicker stage. I absolutely love it. It makes my life so much easier and I save a ton of money because if the paint does go bad, if I go a couple months without making anything and the paint gets tacky, I can just make another batch. And I have been using this graphite container from probably the moment I first started electroforming. I have never ever used a electroforming company's paint. I've never used Safer Solutions or all the other brands that are out there. I've always made my own. When I started it was kind of expensive to get into it and it was actually cheaper to buy these two things and mix my own paint. But I've only used this much graphite. This box of graphite will go a very long way. Just a disclaimer, this is super, super, super fine graphite. So if you are opening this jar and you're using it, please use it in an area where the air is very still <laughs> because you don't want to be breathing that in. Don't use it in front of an AC. We're a fan. I am going to show you the super simple process of how to mix it. I got myself another jar because mine, as you can tell, mine has gotten a little bit tacky. So it's actually, if I poke it, it's kind of hard. You can hear it. So mine got hard and tacky and that does happen. If you leave it go for a few months, it will dry up. So I do tend to only make what I need for any upcoming projects. And if it dries up, it dries up, and then I just can peel it out. Or you can, again, use some distilled water and rescue some of it if it hasn't dried up too much, which sometimes you can. Let's get to it.
just a quick little disclaimer. If you ever use a measuring cup or spoon or chopstick or anything from your kitchen, it is now an electroforming supply. Please never put that thing back in your kitchen again. It is simply just not food safe and not safe for your health. And there we have it. We have a jar of DIY graphite paint. So now you can do your own electrofoiling projects and not have to buy any paint. I use a 1 4th measuring cup and I put 1 4th Mod Podge in 1 4th of graphite. By the time everything is mixed together, it's only really about half the jar full. So it's not a absolute ton of paint, but this will last for several collections very easily, especially since I tend to double layer by paint sometimes. I like to get the paint like a nice like kind of like a thick goopy consistency and then from there I prefer to water it down if I want to while I'm painting my pieces. I do tend to leave it like a bit of a thicker consistency but while mixing I add the tiniest bit of distilled water that does aid in the mixing process because it does get like a little tough for a few minutes to mix there and you can tell it does take a while to mix so you're going to be mixing for several minutes and your hand will get sore it is a super simple process extremely easy all you need is some graphite and it has to be true graphite that is what gives the paint its conductivity which you can probably get that off of amazon um like i said i did get mine off the chemicalstore.com according to the label here. I hope this little tutorial helps you out. I know doing a DIY graphite paint is something that is a uh, gatekept by some people, but everybody wants to try this hobby. It's really cool and fun to do, so let me know how you like it. If you have ever made your own graphite paint or DIY something for electroforming, let me know down in the comments. I want to know if I've tried it or maybe we can all teach each other something. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will keep making more videos like this. I'm going to keep swapping between electroforming and metal smithing with some random laser glow forge tutorials thrown in there as well. But if you like seeing these kind of videos, don't forget to support the channel and hit that like button, click the notification bell, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time. I am going to let you in on a little secret.